Hi, I'm Neil Keller. In this video, I'm going to talk about the transverse abdominis, in particular how it relates to and affects the overlying obliques and rectus abdominis muscles. When activating the transverse abdominis, the idea that I talked about in the previous video was that you're not pulling the ribcage up and sucking the belly in, you're actually actively pulling the transverse abdominis inwards beyond the border of the ribcage and the hip bones. What you're actually doing as you do that is lengthening the obliques and the rectus abdominis. In the same way, if you were trying to activate the biceps, if you activate the biceps, what happens to the tricep? It lengthens, unless the tricep activates to resist being lengthened. So in the same way, when you pull the transverse abdominis in, the obliques and rectus abdominis, because they're being lengthened, they can activate to resist being lengthening. So when you activate your transverse abdominis and pull your waist in past the border of your ribcage and your pelvis, your obliques and your rectus abdominis may be activating to resist being lengthened. Obviously, they're not activating enough to completely resist, but to to provide some resistance to being lengthened. So as a result, when you activate your transverse abdominis, you get muscle sensation because of the transverse abdominis working against the obliques and the rectus abdominis. Now altogether, what this does is it creates sensation. So you have the, the sensation generated by the transverse abdominis, possibly the sensation generated in that muscle. And because it's a thin muscle, it may or may not you may or may not be able to directly perceive tension in the transverse abdominis, but because the obliques and rectus abdominis are also activating, creating sensation, that may be the reason that you can feel when your waist is pulled in, being pulled in because the obliques and the rectus abdominis are resisting that pulling in. And because they're active and resisting, that may be the sensation you feel when you pull in with your transverse abdominis. So a bigger point with respect to transverse abdominis activation is when you activate the transverse abdominis, particularly when pulling in past the border of the ribcage and the pelvis, you're not just activating the transverse abdominis, you're also activating the overlying obliques and rectus abdominis muscles. So what does that mean? It means that when you pull in your waist, not only are you activating the transverse abdominis, you're activating those muscles. In the process, what you're doing is you're helping to stabilize and, or a better word in this instance is control the relationship between your ribcage and your hip bones. So with the transverse abdominis activating, you have the, the waist is turned on, the, waist, the muscles of the waist are turned on, and you can then use those to help control, not just keeping your torso rigid, but stabilizing it and controlling it so that you can do any sort of movements of the waist that you so desire.